Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is week two of my FUE hair transplant procedure recovery. If you are new to my channel, this is not the normal sort of stuff that I post. I normally do a lot of Disney stuff, a lot of like comic book, Marvel, nerdy, collectible sort of stuff. So this is just not what, my, what I would normally do, but I am doing this the whole way through because I want to show the process of getting the hair transplant procedure done through the whole recovery process, eventually to the, hopefully, fingers crossed, a good result. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. These videos are gonna be coming every week because I wanna track the progress every week. Any of you guys, if you are thinking of getting a hair transplant procedure done, hopefully this can answer any questions that you may have. And if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to you all. This time last week, I was coming back home from having the procedure done and it had been, it's been a long week. Lots of swelling. If you saw last week's video, you would have seen how much my face had swollen. It was like a completely different shape it didn't even look like me but it is is going good if you were to look at me right now you wouldn't even know that I've had it done because I can my hair I can have it down in front of the grafted area I'm still not sleeping normally yet because I'm still very conscious of like rubbing the the area where you put the graft in the grafted area I'm conscious of, of, of ruining that because I don't want to I don't want to pull any of them out so it's been a whole week it's gone quite well I'm gonna show you the progress what we've got to right now there we go I'm just gonna hope that this is gonna focus the skin has has completely like healed itself and it's not like red or swollen or or painful or itchy or anything it's just got some light scabbing on the on those grafts there which have a load of it has come away now this the the scabs and it just feels a bit like I can touch it it feels like it feels like a car it feels like a carpet more than anything but it's it is healing quite well and it's in there pretty good so I, I I should be able to start sleeping normally soon. The back is is pretty much fine. It's still a little bit itchy every now and then, but that's because the scabs are getting very close to being ready to completely come off. It's still showering very carefully, and yeah, it's, it, it, it's going good. That's pretty much all I can say right now. It's going good. Happy Monday. It looks fine. Well, compared to how, how, well, how it was last week, what, what's it like looking? Well, like? it's a lot healed. There's no scabs anymore. No. And it's just well, there's you know a couple, but it's the only place that looks I can like feel it's very kind of like itchy. Yeah, it's on the hair around, around that, about there. But it's it just looks like it's dry skin now. It's a different like skin color, but that's just because it's raw still. But it's not like really red or anything. Oh, that's well scabby. Is it? Is it like as much of it come off though? Loads of it's I'm sure loads of it's come off. Uh, it looks like some. It's healed yeah. up pretty good though. Very good. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday today and I've just washed my hair. So my hair is all soft and fluffy and stuff. Still using the, the pouring on kind of method. And it's kind of healing. The scabs are still very scabby. It's getting a bit uncomfortable now. The front part is getting a bit uncomfortable. The best way I can describe this kind of like uncomfortable feeling is if you have like a scab on your, your arm or your knee or your leg or wherever, wherever you've got some hair and the scab is kind of like caught in the hair and when you move it kind of pulls at the hair that kind of sensation is what I'm feeling like all over here so it's a little bit uncomfortable the skin at the back where it's still healing is a little bit sore it doesn't hurt it like itches every now and then but then if I I'm not gonna I can't scratch it so I just kind of like rub it and it kind of helps I guess but I'm still using the spray to spritz it and keep it moist and stuff that's pretty much the update on it for today until Craig gets back so we can show you the back of my head I keep like rubbing the sides so like here some Somewhere here, it kind of like, I don't know if that's gonna focus because I can't see, but somewhere around here it kind of itches. So if I just keep rubbing it in circles like that. And then, where is the other bit? I don't know, the other bit isn't itching right now, so I'm not gonna tempt fate, but yeah, right there it kind of, kind of itches. So I realized after I filmed all of last week that there is so many questions that I did not answer and there's a lot of information that I didn't give in the first video. Not intentionally, but I just, forgot to mention it. So, because I've had loads of questions, I thought I'd answer the, the questions that I've got. A lot of people will talk about like the price or the cost and things. Um, when it comes to something as important as a hair transplant, you don't want to be like scrimping on where you go. You need to, without saying like how much I've paid for it, I'm going to say I paid less than 
£5,000 for it, but I'm doing it on finance, so it's not like a huge, it's not a huge deal to me, like paying in monthly installments. Realistically, with cosmetic surgery, you get what you pay for, so if you are going to fly to a different country to get it as dirt cheap as you possibly can get it, don't expect the, like, the best results. I mean, it's, it's possible you can get them, but it, if you don't get them, don't be shocked. Next question was how many grafts did I get? So the average person has around 100,000 hairs on their head. When I had my consultation, they recommended I get 2,500 grafts. So that's what I did. I've got 2,500 grafts and each graft has on average two to maybe three hairs per graft. So roughly 5,000 hairs that will be growing in my forehead, just there. Not in my forehead, but from my hairline at the top there. It could be less, it could be more. It depends on how many hairs are in each graft. Um, obviously the more grafts you get the more money it's gonna cost. Can you wear hats? Yes, you can wear hats, but you have to be very very careful. I wouldn't wear it on the first day. If you're gonna wear a, like a snapback or a baseball cap, the way I do it now is I have it on the, the largest setting that I could possibly put it on so it is too big for my head. But then having it so that like the, the front of the cap is just above my eyes here so it rests here. It doesn't, so, so none of the hat actually touches the graft area, just to keep that safe and protected. How long was the procedure? So the procedure itself didn't actually last that long, it was like a full day's work. So before lunch I'd say three to four hours with the injections and then taking out each of the individual grafts and had a short lunch break and then back again for it's probably less than three hours to make the incisions and then put all the hair back in. It's literally just a day procedure and I don't have to go back until six months for my checkup. Is there any general stuff that you need to do to protect it? Uh, just avoid knocking it, avoid like getting it hit with anything. I have to stay out of the like intense sun so I can't if I was to get a hair transplant and then immediately go on holiday to a really hot country that wouldn't be good because you need to you have to like okay for example the skin on the back of my head where all of the grafts have been taken out that is now fresh new skin that I don't want to burn because it's going to be very sensitive um, and likewise I I, I, I mean my hair, my fringe kind of covers this so it's it's okay but I wouldn't want to risk burning my scalp where I've had all of the new hair implanted into my head so yeah avoid intense heat sun how long until the follicles start to do their thing? As I'm washing my hair right now and the scabs are like coming out, it's quite normal for the hair shaft itself to fall out. That's not, that's not the live hair. That's like dead hair, so that will come out and that's perfectly normal. And then the baby hairs will start to, to grow. Then when they do come through, it'll come through like a pimply sort of, sort of thing. We'll see when we get to that point what it will look like. But that's basically just the hairs trying to break through the skin. And when that happens, you can't pick it, you can't scratch it, it could pull out the graft and you don't want it to do that. But yeah, six months is when I'm having my checkups. That's when it's like gonna start coming through with proper hair. And then a year is when I'm gonna see like real proper results. So very excited for that. I think that's, that's pretty much it for the questions right now. If any more come in, I will answer them as the week goes on. But hopefully that's helped. If you do have any other questions, then let me know and I will get back to you. So it's still quite scabby but you can see it's a lot of the scabs have kind of gone away and the skin is now just the same color as my forehead here so it's just it's definitely calmed down a lot it's not as red as it was originally um, I can move my forehead again you can see my wrinkles again so the swelling is like completely gone away it's all good it is healing really well this big bit here is still there but I can like lightly touch it and it feels interesting but yeah very very light touches not like intense hard ones so Craig is back and I'm gonna get him to as usual show you guys the back of my head notice how Craig is always sat down on the couch it's yeah because I just got home from work <laughs> being on my feet all day blah 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 yeah looking good looking good it's still like kind of itchy well it would be it's raw skin is it like does it look it's really pink cool yeah pink Okay. It's pink, so it's fresh skin. But it's literally just this top bit now that, that kind of like... We'll leave it. Well, why don't you wash your hair with head and shoulder shampoo? Yeah. That might help it. Right, done. Hmm. It's Wednesday. I am still sleeping on my back, so I'm not sleeping amazing, to be honest. But now at the um, the point when I can have a... I like a... Oh, 
I'm still sleeping on my back, um, even though I don't think I, I have to anymore. So I'm like, I'm, I'm past the point where like I could, I could pull out the grafts really easily. I still have to be relatively careful with it though. But I, I'm now at a point when I can have a normal shower. So as long as the pressure isn't too hard, then I can have like a, a normal shower on with the water going onto my head and stuff. Speaking of showers, I haven't had one today because our water was out. <laughs> so I feel quite gross right now. I've been keeping it moist and spraying it and spritzing it and stuff. The, the itching has kind of gone down from the back of my head so that's a good that's good that's good i will catch you guys tomorrow i am gonna go and have a shower now because the water is back on hey guys it is now thursday so we almost finished the working week thank goodness it's been a busy week i've just got back i've actually been out i've left the house today to go to work so i've been out in chelsea which was nice and then walked all the way back through hyde park which is great very very nice to be out of the house back home spritzed it because it, i haven't spritzed it all day and it's it's looking good i don't think much came off it i mean scabs came off it but i don't know if i don't think much in the way of like, hair grafts came off it or anything hopefully you can see this i've got no idea what i'm pointing at that's pretty much my little update for thursday i'm gonna do some more work now that i'm back home and that's that's the plan for the day done hey guys i pretty much forgot to film today completely so here i am right now um looking like a very 90s boy band with the whole curtains thing going on. Uh, I had a shower earlier on and most of the scabs have come out of my head, which is great. I'm gonna get Craig to film it because I can't see what I'm looking at. I think most, if not all of the scabs have gone from my forehead. Mm -hmm. There might be a few little ones left, but it's a load of the, like the hair shafts are still in there. So I don't know if they're going to grow as they are or if they're gonna mm -hmm. fall out and then more ones are gonna grow, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's soft, like it's a lot softer than it was at first. Still being very gentle with it. Sleeping normally again, which is great because I can actually sleep. The back is still a little bit itchy, not gonna lie. It's because it's there raw are skin. So yeah, just around like the top part, that's where it's most kind of like itchy. It feels a bit raw. Other than that, it's, it's pretty much fine. I will see you guys tomorrow. I forgot to say as well, if I've, if I've missed anything in this week's video with like questions and stuff, if you have any questions about the whole thing, I think I've answered most of them at the beginning of the week. But if there's any that you're still not sure about or there's anything you want me to clarify or anything else for next week, let me know in the comments down below and I will answer it in the next weekly vlog. In the next weekly vlog, so... See you then. Hey guys, it's now Saturday and I've washed my hair and everything and more scabs have come out and I think it's pretty much scabless now most of the way. The scabs are pretty much gone. It's looking good, it's healing nicely. The hair has actually got really soft now. The hair that's there is um, really softened up and very much looking forward to it being healed and everything. A lot of you guys have actually comment commented on my on my skin. So I thought I would show you guys the stuff that I use for my skincare routine because I never really had a skincare routine until quite recently um, where I've started using this stuff from Obagi Medical, medical grade, and it's really, really, really good. This stuff was given to me by my friend Laura. She has a company herself called Bell Aesthetic Clinic and she's doing like a, a deal. If any of you guys want to get any of this skincare stuff, I just use Greg 10 and that'll get you 10% off of sets. So things like this, like a set of this. So skin cleanser, professional C serum, Hydro Factor moisturizer with sunscreen in it. Um, there's also retinol cream as well, which is really, really good, but it's, um, it's quite intense on your skin if you use it too much. So I'll just show you like the basics of what I, what I do. So the first thing is two of these. These are, um, I've mixed them up so I don't use them both every time. Uh, but they're both skin cleansers. They're both quite gentle. This one has got like vitamin C in it. It smells kind of citrusy a little bit. Both of them are really good cleansers and they leave your skin feeling super soft. And I'm, I'm 32 this year, so I'm getting on a bit. In the morning, I'll also use this. This is the Obagi Professional C Serum. This, again, has some vitamin C in it. So before I had my hair transplant, you're not supposed to have vitamin C supplements or anything for like, I think it was 48 hours or a week. I'm not sure. I didn't use this for a week. Then also daily, I use this. This is the Hydro Factor Moisturizer. This has got the sunscreen in it. So yeah, that's pretty much the Obagi stuff. Um, if you do want to get a hold of it, any, anything, I'll put links to Laura's page down in the description description box and the discount code if you want to get anything greg10 right i'm going to finish doing my hair and everything and getting myself ready and we are going out today so i'm gonna go and check out Udderbelly at south bank 
that's the one. Hey guys, so I thought I'd come in and show you guys. This is the Obagi C cleansing gel. So this is the one that's got vitamin C in it. I'm going to just wash my face with this right now and then I'm going to use the retinol cream because I haven't used this since last week. So I'm using it today. So you don't need very much of it. It does smell really good. <laughs> nice and clean. So the cleanser you can use morning and night. And be really careful with the whole hairline thing. And then this stuff, you only need like the tiniest, tiniest amount. The retinol cream is very strong. Once a week is probably enough. I'm going to use two tiny pumps, just like that, and that will do the entire face. So a teeny, 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 tiny amount, roll it in, but don't get it too close to your eyes. And there we go, done. Time for bed, but my hair is looking good. It's all doing well. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, we've made it to the end of the week. It is Sunday today. I'm feeling very, very fresh. Just had a shower and uh, I didn't show you doing it, show you me doing it because I was in the shower, but used the gentle cleanser on my skin this morning. Um, and now I'll show you guys using this. This is the, the vitamin C serum. This one is really, really good for pigment suppression and it also helps to improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles because it stimulates collagen in the skin. This one you only need like five to seven drops, but I think even then it's quite a lot for my face. So I'll do, I'll literally just show you. I'm gonna try and do this as easy as I can because I'm literally just one, one, that one can go on my nose. One, two, three, four. Two. Just massage it in. It smells really nice. Mm. And because you only need like the tiniest little amount, the 30 mil thing will last a long time because you're literally going drops at a time. There's loads left in this. And then once that's all dried in, I'm going to use the Hydro Factor Moisturizer, which has got the sunscreen in it, but I mostly just use it for the fact that it's a moisturizer. That's pretty much it. That's my skin routine. So you saw it last night and you saw it this morning. Great. The hair, back to the hair. I think I've washed out pretty much all of the scabs now. The hair is really, really soft now. I'm just using my own shampoo, so I'm either I'm mixing it up with um, either Tresemme or Head and Shoulders. The, today is the Head and Shoulders thing with like caffeine in it or something. It's like a hair boosting Head and Shoulders shampoo. Just standard shampoo. You don't need anything special. Um, I did actually ask my surgeon that because they had like a aftercare pack that you could buy if you wanted to. But my surgeon was like, honestly, you, like I looked at your hair. Your hair is your know, scalp's really good. Whatever shampoo it is that you're using right now, just carry on using that because it's. I, I appreciated the honesty that it was like, okay, I don't have to buy this extra thing for the, the aftercare when I can just use what I've already got. So, yeah. Good surgeon. Not like trying to take more money from me, which is nice. I feel like I have got a couple of spots. They're, they're either spots or the ingrown hairs coming through. I think you can see there's one there. So I don't know if that is an ingrown hair or a spot. Yeah, you just got to make sure you don't pick with your fingernails. So if I, anytime I do get an itch, I'm literally just rubbing it like that. <laughs> really careful on the hair, obviously. You don't want to pull it out. But it should be healed enough for me to, to do that perfectly fine. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. If you do have any questions, let me know. I will get back to you. Uh, either in the comments or in next week's video. I might do like a Q&A. So if you want to put your put any questions in here, I'll answer them all next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the the future uploads to do with the hair transplant, hairline, procedure, recovery, after care, everything. And I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.